September 9th, 2013, and on this test, I wanted to test the soil. So this little area of the soil here was actually underneath a shrub, so that's why there's no grass or weeds growing on top of it. But it, I would imagine it did get the rain lake if it was in the grass, like everything else. So what I did is I took my edger and then I cut some nice pieces out. So this is the top and this is where I put the Geiger counter next to. And by the way, this soil is in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. September 9th, 2013, and this is the test on the piece of soil. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 4,506. 6 is the max data point. Average data point is 0 0.75. Alright, so basically I put it on its edge so I could have this piece of soil identical into the middle of the Geiger counter, which is that spot right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull away the piece of soil and leave the Geiger counter in the identical spot to get a background reading. September 9th, 2013 and this is the background reading for the soil reading 100 minutes 6,000 seconds 3,128 5 count high average data point is 0.52 My conclusion on the soil test is it definitely seems like it's picking something up in there. Cesium, it's got a half-life of 30 years, I guess. So it's got to be in there, even if there is a little bit with me being so far away from Fukushima. I guess it did surround the globe in four days of that meltdown, so it is around the globe. I think it's in this soil, but I can't prove it because all I'm doing is counting these little counts. And that's it. So it's just another test to put on the shelf. Background, Cleveland soil sample. Background, Cleveland soil sample. Background, Cleveland soil sample. Background, Cleveland soil sample.